Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, I wanted to get these out early to you guys, uh, mainly because you guys are always last. So I apologize and um, let me just uh, get into your reading. So when I was shuffling out the spread, um, I, I saw an image and um, I see a scene at the beach. And I'm not seeing the sand so much. I'm seeing the surfs and the waves and... Um, I keep seeing this rolling motion, This these waves are rolling in and they keep hitting this one big rock that's in the middle and it keeps rolling in, it's like perpetual motion, it keeps hitting this one rock, it breaks up the waves and then you know a new wave comes in and hits on the same rock. And because the motion is so repetitive, I, I feel like you know it's a kind of like the the imagery for this reading. Um, I feel like some of you are coming to the realization that you've been um, kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, okay? Um, it's stemming from, you know, sheer stubbornness, I, I feel, for, for some of you. And I'm seeing that the, the universe is trying to uh, steer you away from that and to give you a new sense of direction. And I feel like you definitely have come to the realization that if I keep doing the same thing, I'm not going to be able to get a different result. Um, and I'm also hearing if I keep fighting battles for other people, it doesn't give them an opportunity to learn and to be strong on their own. If I keep, you know, enabling other people, they're not going to grow. And if I keep doing things for other people, they're not able to do it for themselves. So in the spirit of live and let live, I feel like many of you are finally coming to this realization. And I feel like for many of you, you know, you, you guys have a very, very expansive mindset you're very progressive in nature um but i also feel like some of you might have really strong earth or water in you so like um taurus virgo capricorn um you might be a sagittarius sun with those um earth or water placement in other areas of, uh, of your chart such as a water sign moon earth sign moon where you want to kind of um do things for other people okay so this can be um clinging on to the past uh, wanting to kind of somewhat control situations and people wanting to like caring for somebody so much that you do everything for them and then i also feel like it, it's almost like your your sun and your moon they're in opposition with one another on the one hand, the Sagittarius side wants to expand, wants adventure, wants excitement, wants newness. The earth or the water side of you craves familiarity, craves um, group mentality, craves like that sense of stability. And I feel like you have dealt with a lot of internal struggle, like inner conflict. And I feel like the, the earth uh, side or the water side has always won over. So it's kept you very stagnant. It's kept you, um, it's, it's made life a little bit difficult for you, I feel, because you're stuck in one place and you're refusing to make changes. And in a way, you kind of uh, drift off into this fantasy land where you know, it's like watching the, the soap operas or like reading romance novels and wishing your life could kind of play out like that, full of drama and excitement and, you know, um, full of events. Like, I, I feel like, you know, major, major events happening in succession like they do in soap operas, like they do in, in romance novels or like they do in, you know, fiction novels waiting for opportunities to happen and you're at a point where I feel as we round out this year you're a lot more proactive about taking charge of your life you are also realizing in the past where you have been doing the same things over and over and over and over again hoping for a different outcome or hoping for a different result and not being able to find that 
So that period of stagnation is definitely done and over with. And now we're packing up our bags and we are looking for a new adventure. So I feel like there's big things coming in store for you, but it's not landing on your lap, you know, just out of the blue. I feel like many of you have taken great steps and strides to move yourself along to where you need to, to go and where you need to be. You're no longer at a point where you are settling for less than you deserve. So I feel like many of you might have um, settled for situations like um, settle for a job and three months into the job, you realize that you're excelling you know, uh, beyond your peers. Like three months in, you've already learned everything and you're performing, you're outperforming your peers. So it's allowed you to really boost your self-confidence, but it's also made you realize, wow, I was underemployed or I was willing to settle for this job um, because I thought that was what I was, that was all I was capable of. And then I also feel for you guys uh, settling for mediocre relationship partners, relationship partners that didn't have that vision relationship partners that are afraid to, you know, stand up for the things that they believe in and especially fight for you. The ones that are willing to, you know, put everything on the line and to be with you and to really fight for you. So gone are those days because you're coming to the realization that you deserve a lot more and you're not fearful anymore. The fog has lifted you are aware that there is a lot more out there for you, more opportunities, more uh, abundance and blessings. And so I, I do get the image of many of you, um, you know, going to the beach, picking up like sand dollars or starfish or seashells by the coastline. And I feel like for some of you, this might be your place of refuge because it's expansive. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. It, it brings you this great sense of inner peace, but it also brings you this sense of like wonder. What else is out there? You know, what, what else is out there for me? Is there a new land? Is there a new horizons that I can explore? Are there new opportunities? And like the way that the waves roll in, you lived your life thinking that, you know, things are just going to perpetually roll in. And it didn't happen that way. So now you kind of need to, to uh, reorient yourself and kind of roll out to meet the opportunities. So I feel like that's what we're doing. We are embarking on a brand new journey. And I feel like many of you are traveling light. Many of you are at a point where you're very, very hopeful. And um, I'm also sensing there's trepidation. There's always trepidation. And I have here the Fool card. Brand new journey, taking a leap of faith, meeting the universe halfway, not waiting for things to fall on our laps anymore. And um, this is a card as well about, you know, new beginnings. And I feel like you're traveling very light and that is the way that the universe wants you to go. Whatever that has plagued you emotionally, uh, you're leaving that behind. All the times that you have faced censorship, hostility, and, you know, um, negativity, like people telling you, no, don't do that, you know, the, the naysayers, all the times that people have really put you down or didn't act like they were supportive or didn't act like they have faith in your capabilities and your skills, I feel like you're definitely not really letting them get to you anymore, okay? And I also feel like the trepidation comes in, in the form of what's next, what, what's around the corner. So there's that sense of excitement, but also trepidation about what's around the corner. And what I feel happening around the corner is there is opportunities for you to meet people who are a lot more like-minded, to meet people that, you know, won't be... Um, casting doubts on your plans and your goals and, you know, making you feel less than. 
you're shifting into this new energy it, it, it feels like an energy where you have a heartfelt soulful type of a connection with new people so i usually think of this as you know this is where you are divinely guided to be there are people waiting right around the bends for you and these are people this is the moon card this is a very strong psychic spiritual connection that you will have with other people and I also feel as well, it's it's your calling. Um, many of you, you have a spiritual awakening here where you need to kind of delve a little bit deeper into your spirituality. Um, I feel like for many of you, um, there might have been some type of um, a very strict or, or like a very orthodox household and religion might have been really big and, and for whatever reason, um, spirituality was seen as anti, you know, religion. Okay. And so I, I feel like it took you a long time to come to terms that, you know, they might be one in the same, or you are trying to find a less rigid way to be spiritual without having to, um, label yourself as any, as belonging to any group, as belonging to, you know, to fit into a box. So you're no longer at a point where you're trying to fit into what society expects of you or what people expect of you, what family expect of you, what friends, whatever it is that you have tried to live up to or you have tried to uphold your reputation so that people see you and perceive you a certain way. You're no longer... You, you don't really care about that anymore. And I feel like this is kind of like you coming into your authentic sense of self and figuring out, you know, what really truly makes you happy. Um, structure and, and um, rigidity for a Sagittarius, uh, it's, it's, not, um, it, it's not in congruence with, you know, your lifestyle. And it's taken you a long time to, I feel, um, figure that out and realize that because I'm, I'm sensing here, I'm reading for people that might have Sagittarius, but also really strong earth placement and really strong water placement. Not so much air, but a lot of strong earth, which deals a little bit more with groundedness and conservatism. And um, water, which deals a lot more with like that... Um, that cultural and um, emotional uh, transmission, you know, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is like wanting to uphold certain expectations for other people, not wanting to, you know, go against the norm. Okay, so I feel like there's this inner conflict that has played out through your life and it's taken you a long time to really come into your own sense of authentically who you are and who you want to be. I'm feeling many of you are embarking on, you know, like um, a physical, like geographical location change, which I feel is going to be really good for you. If it's going to happen, and if it happens this year, great. If it happens, you know, two months from now, that's great. Because either way, you are being divinely guided to people that are more in alignment with you. Okay. You are outgrowing your present situation. And you need to kind of come to terms with that and move on to your next destination. Um, I also feel some of you, you know, the you guys are empty nesters. And uh, in the past, it might have been like, oh, oh I don't really want to travel. I don't I want to just stay here. Uh, the kids will one day come back, you know, and they need a place where they can spend the holidays or they need a place where they can crash if life has dealt them a hard blow. So I'm just going to keep this house. I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to, you know, go through the motions with my neighbors and, and things like that. And these are excuses that, you know, that you might have told yourself. The kids have flown the nest. They have established families of their own. They're embarking on their adventures. And I feel like it's time that you do the same. They're more than capable of taking care of themselves at this point. And so it's time for you to live your life. And um, I'm feeling as well, travel is highly indicated, okay? And I feel like it's just gonna be so refreshing for you 
to get that change of scenery, get that new perspective and to allow yourself opportunity to just travel light and just enjoy the ride, enjoy the moment and, you know, not have to worry about um, what people think of you, what people expect from you. I also feel this sense of, you know, don't fight other people's battles for them. Don't do it. Um, it's their karmic lessons that they have to learn. I see many of you are walking away from conflict, okay? Not wanting to put in that last word because you're over it. And then I also feel like, um, I feel you dealing with somebody where um, you've taken care of them. You know, you've always been there to solve their problems. You've always been there when they're in a jam. And uh, I feel like they didn't even need to call you. You just like come running. And so over time, it created dependencies. And at this point in your life, it's like, no more. I need to take care of myself. I need to conserve my energy. I can't be, you know, there for everybody at all times of the day. I need to take care of myself. And so many of you, you, you feel, you know, the, the, the weight of the years just um, on your shoulders. You feel the weight of responsibilities and expectations of other people on your chest and you're trying to cast that off and you're you're gonna have to because the way that it's working it's uh, it's not worth it anymore I see actually um, many of you are in the spiritual profession some of you could also be um, like counselors therapists as well or people that work in those emergency hotlines like you know 911 dispatcher for example or you're like a triage nurse or you're dealing with a lot of emergencies and I feel like you go to work and you're really good at your job you're you're fast you know you take care of people's emergencies um, you calm and soothe disgruntled people you make people you, you give stability and sanity to a really hostile situation. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of problems. You're dealing with a lot of crises. Um, I'm seeing, you know, social workers and CPS worker, like child protective services workers as well. And I feel like, you know, you go to work and you might even work like eight hours, standard eight hours. And by the end of the day, it's just the, 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 the work has really drained you. Okay, so by the end of the day, you just crash on your couch and you're just, you might take a nap, you might go to sleep, and then the next day it repeats all over again. That is not the way for us to live. And sometimes we need to do what we need to do in order to survive. But there has to be a better way for you to manage the stress of work. Uh, you have to find a different way so that you don't get the response you don't let the responsibilities weigh you down so much that you are emotionally mentally physically exhausted take care of yourself okay learn to take care of yourself learn to find coping skills or learn to you know put your needs first as well and i feel like it is a lot about physical and spiritual needs um, so I, I feel like there is, um, a love interest here that there's a, there's a lot of communication back and forth with this person. And I feel for some of you, this is a person that is, um, I don't know if you dated this person or there's some like back and forth in the past, maybe some encounters or some awkwardness, awkward moments. Um, and I feel like you're contemplating a move in order to be together. And I feel that, you know, they're, they're saying, they're not saying the universe is not saying no, or your guys are not really saying no, but they're saying tread carefully, okay? Make sure that um, if you are, you know, trying to travel, to relocate, to be with this person, Make sure they're worth it, okay? And then also ask yourself the question, why do I need to leave everything behind to be with them? Why can't they leave everything behind to be with me? And ask yourself, if this is a, 
um, sort of like a decision reached between the two of you, or if it's just like a unilateral decision that somebody decided for you to, to relocate. And are you okay with that? So they're saying kind of slow down and, and, and reassess the situation. And um, I'm also feeling like there is somebody here. Um, it feels like, I, I definitely feel a very strong soul connection between you and this person. Uh, it's a very, very strong bond. But it seems like you're ready to move things forward. You're ready to progress. Um, but I feel like they have some hang-ups that they need to kind of sort out in their own lives. And I feel like the timing is not yet right now, okay? Like the, the timing is not, it's not the right time just yet. So they need to get things wrapped up and finished and resolved from their end. And I don't feel like it's going to be good for you to wait around for that. Because, you know, the this person, they kind of walk back and forth. And so they want to initiate change. They're, they're ready for the next phase in their life. But I feel like they're still unsure. They're, the decisions are not yet made. And so you do you and, focus, and, and let them, you know, focus on themselves. And, you know, live and let live. Um... I feel like there are too many people around you telling you what to think, how to behave, what's proper, what's not. They're giving you advice. They're giving you inputs. Some of the, the, the people, uh, one person might say, do this, and the other person might counter that and say, no, don't do that, do this. And so I feel like you're getting advice and, and things from all kinds of people and it's not appropriate to you or they're telling you to do things that you don't really want to do. Not that they're forcing you, but I feel like you're being influenced. And so, you know, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Make the decision that is for you and allow your heart to guide you in the decision-making process. And let the people talk it doesn't really matter let people talk let people do their thing because people are always going to talk and as bold as you are i i definitely feel like you know everything will be okay things will work out for you guys are like the luckiest sign of the zodiac and there might have been times where you were fumbling around in the dark but you never stumble you never stub your toes you never you know fell and so you know that you are divinely protected, so no matter what, you're going to be okay. Okay? This doesn't mean to go out and be reckless, but it means that even in the most trying times, you will always bounce back. Okay? Um, I feel for many of you, there has been a really significant relationship, um, and I feel like there were heavy financial codependencies heavy financial codependency. Somebody was not able to um, take care of themselves. You had to, you know, uh, be the breadwinner. And then I also feel situations where there were a lot of issues, imbalances in the give and take in that relationship and issues regarding money, issues regarding boundaries as well. And I, I feel as if your family were trying to, family members were trying to protect you, were trying to tell you you know, that's a bad person. You shouldn't be with them. And I feel like you listen to your heart that time. And you're like, I'm going to follow my heart. And I feel like you ended up, um, you ended up very hurt. And I feel like that's one of the major events that happened recently that made you doubt your intuition, that made you doubt your heart. And so you're at a point where you, you listen to other people more because you feel like, you don't trust your intuition, you don't trust yourself anymore. And that's not a good place for a Sagittarius person to be. But you're, you're, I feel like you're rebuilding that sense of you know, self-love, rebuilding that sense of self-confidence, and rebuilding that spiritual connection that you have with your intuition. 
and it's starting, it's going to be okay. Your heart chakra is definitely open. That past experience needed to happen so that your heart chakra could activate. So it's, it's almost like, you know, through the darkest nights, we find ourselves, we find how strong we are, we realize how capable we are. And I feel like it, it needed to happen for that reason, okay? Um, moving forward, I definitely see a journey where you are required to travel light. So shed the, the, the baggage, shed whatever is not serving its purpose in your life anymore and let things go, okay? This can be old belief system, and I, I especially feel like shed the things that you don't need declutter your life, but also that self-doubt, leave it behind, okay? Just um, that last nail in the coffin when it comes to your self-doubt, um, the things that you say to yourself that are not really good for yourself, let those things go, okay? I wish you all the best and I hope the reading resonates. I hope that it is helpful for you guys. You have some positive things in store and uh, I feel like you know, you're going to be able to find people that are very much like you, okay? Um, kindred souls and people that you have really, really strong emotional connections with. It's going to be, uh, they're going to be out there. So I will be back in about a week's time and I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Take care.